What's going on YouTube? Kurt's S7 here in a little bit more relaxed, chilled out environment. Uh, it's because we're doing a Q&A, but you already knew that. It was in the title. <laughs> That's why you clicked the video. Um, yeah, I put a tweet out yesterday saying, let's do a q and a. It's been a while since we had a chat, kicked back, talked about things. You know, there's things I want to talk about, you know, especially, you know, there's a lot of things happening at the minute. You know, FIFA's coming out soon and... This Premier League starting, United, you know, we got UFC 202 on the weekend. Oh, man, it's, I'm looking forward to everything right now. Life is looking pretty good at the minute. So I've got your questions here. We're ready to go. And I've just got one little small announcement is that uh, I've never done this before, but I'm doing a live stream on YouTube through the United Southampton game. So if you're doing nothing, you want to watch along with me, kick back, relax, ask a few questions. Um, yeah, be sure to join. Uh, yeah, it's going to be some fun. Never done this before. I know, I can tell you right now, I haven't got the greatest internet. So please don't ex be expecting top quality high definition. But hopefully the stream holds up. We can have a laugh together. Pogba's going to make his debut. Jose is going to make his Manchester United Old Trafford debut in a competitive game. And um, it's going to be awesome. But lads, let's get into your questions. Matt at the Tech Edition asks, do you have a beta key? So I'm pretty sure he's referring to uh, FIFA 17. Um, no, mate, I don't have a beta key. And to be fair, I didn't even apply for one or, you know, just sign up or anything for that because I'm not really asked. You guys already know I'm not playing FIFA 16 at the minute. Um, anyways, even if I did get the beta code, I'm jam-packed this weekend. Friday night, busy with the lads. Tomorrow, I'm busy with the missus. You know, United's tomorrow morning as well. Uh, Friday night. Um, mate, Saturday night, I'm busy with the missus again. Going out Saturday night. Uh, Sunday, we've got UFC. I'm busy all day there. Conor McGregor, Nate Diaz. Mate, this weekend's packed. I don't even think I'll even be home this weekend, let alone time to play FIFA. But uh, to answer your questions, uh, no, I, don't, I do not have the beta key. Next question is from Pepsi FIFA, and he asks, how do I grow a beard like yours? Uh, as you can see, I've just got back from the barber, fresh cut, got a nice trim. Uh, it's looking pretty good, but uh, in all seriousness, I've had this beard now since the start of the year, and I'm liking it. I don't mind a good beard, especially when it's trimmed. you got the good fade going. you got a good barber, knows what he's doing. I don't mind a good beard, but how do you grow it? Um, to be honest, you're going to laugh at this. It took me a few goes to grow this beard. I grew it, then shaved it, and grew it, then shaved it. It's getting frustrated, but the best tip I can give you is just grow it. Get a trim every now and again. Not right off. Get a bit of a trim. Keep growing it. Bit more, bit more. Get a trim, bit more. And then eventually you'll get it big and thick. And I used to have it way thicker. Even this morning, I recorded a little video from this morning. Check this out. So it's about nine in the morning. I don't know if you can see that up there or not. Anyway, it's about nine in the morning. And I'm about to go to the barbers because have a look at the state of this beard. It is massive. Needs a big trim. Even the mo needs a bit of a trim. Look at that. Goes way past. Look, Amish or something. <laughs> Looks ridiculous. Anyways, I'm gonna get to the barbers. Let's see how good this goes. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> now look at this. Look at, see what I mean? When you get it nice and trimmed, look at this cut line right now. Look at that. Mate, when you got a barber who knows what he's doing, beard is a, a good thing to have. I love having a good beard anyways. But uh, who knows? Maybe I might shave my beard for 50K. What do you reckon? Get 50,000 subscribers and uh, I'll shave the beard. What do you reckon? Get your comments down below. And in fact, don't get your comments down below. Get pitch, start sharing my videos. Get people subscribing and I will shave my beard for 50,000 subscribers. How about that? <laughs> Next question is from Viandra. Uh, he's got two questions. Uh, what's your favorite United player now since Wilbeck's left? And second question is, do you think United can win the league? Uh, second question, yes, I do think United can win the league. We've invested so much money, it would be a shame if we couldn't win the league. I'm not saying we are going to win the league, but definitely in contention. Who's my favourite player, United? It's a hard one, man. I was a massive fan of Pogba before he left United. Um, and, and I tend to, my favourite, you guys probably already know this, but 
besides Ronaldo, my favourite players are generally not everyone else's favourite players, like Danny Wilbeck, big fan of his. And I think right now, if I had to pick someone who I really love at United, it's probably Marcus Rashford. Living the dream. United lad, broke into the team, went to the Euros for England, scoring goals, scoring on debuts, scoring against big teams, Arsenal, City, uh, that that goal against West Ham uh, in the FA Cup. Mate, the kid is living the dream. So if I was to buy a United top, I'd probably get Rashford on the back. All right, next question is from Timmy T. And he asks, what is your top five managers in the world? Top five. Oh, man, it's... Too hard to name my top five. I'd probably say, I don't know, Pep Mourinho. Look at the Premier League, man. It's just stacked. Wenger, Conte, Klopp. Who's outside the Premier League? Simeone, Carlo, uh, Carlos Ancelotti. Even Zidane won the, the Champions League in his first season, you know? And he didn't have a preseason with Real Madrid. That's amazing, you know? So... Top five, it's probably too hard. Maybe once everyone retires and you look back on their careers, maybe we can sit down with a pen and pencil and uh, work out top five managers ever. But for now, it's probably too hard to name a top five. Next question is from Chris Dino. And he asks, what do you think of the current problems that Arsenal has? Um, Man, anyone that knows me and knows I've been bashing Arsenal for quite a while now. It's because, quickly, it's because I, I was... To see where Arsenal were from when I was growing up, to see Arsenal now, from your, your Dennis Bergkamp's, Thierry Henry's, Tony Adams, Patrick Vieira's, mate, they have come a long, long way. And unfortunately, they've just become a selling club, you know? Selling all the best players. But for me, the pinnacle was selling their club captain to Manchester United in Robin Van Persie, who won us the league. And now, they have proper neglected their squad for two no, longer than two years, probably three, four years. Arsenal have neglected their squad, and for a while they've been shouting out for a new striker, and we need a new striker, we need a new striker. They've needed a new striker for that long, the rest of the team's got stale. You look at the defence, that defence is terrible. It's like United's a few years ago. The midfield's bang average, but they do have attacking world-class players. I'll give Arsenal that. Look at Sanchez, look at Ozil, even Aaron Ramsey. On his day can be world class. They do have the threat. But you take those attacking threat out of that midfield. It's bang average. And I think for a while. Because they've been neglecting that squad. It's going to catch up with them. And I do not think Arsenal will be making top four this year. Unless. Unless they pull a magic rabbit out their hat. And they get some quality players into the squad. But until that happens. Definitely not impressed with Arsenal at the slightest or in the slightest. He's got another question, Chris, and he asks, also, what do you think of Tim Cahill signing for Man, uh, Melbourne City? <laughs> not Manchester City, Melbourne City. Yeah, pumped at that, you know. Tim Cahill, uh, big fan of his. Probably the best Australian footballer of all time, has to be said. And uh, to see that he's come to Australia, back into the A-League, you got to be pumped with that. Me being a victory fan... Don't really care that much about the A-League, to be fair. I used to when I first started, but now I don't care. But to see him back in Australia, it looks like he's going to finish his career here. Happy days. Jared HD asks, how many rounds will it take for McGregor to prove his dominance uh, on Sunday? I, uh, yeah, jeez, that's a, that's a... Now, you want to talk about loaded questions? That's a proper loaded question. So that is why... If you follow me on Twitter, you know I'm a massive Conor McGregor fan. You'll know I'm a massive UFC fan in general. So, you know what? I'm going to make my very first UFC video. So, uh, be on a tune. Uh, stay tuned for that. Be on the lookout, I should say. Um, that should be coming across the weekend, hopefully on Saturday. Who knows? I might even do it after this and drop it tonight uh, for that video. UFC 202, Nate Diaz, Conor McGregor. So pumped for that. I am so pumped up for that. Been waiting like 15 weeks for that. I just cannot wait. Mate, seeing the press conference uh, the other day, throwing bottles and that. And then this morning, <laughs> Conor McGregor saying, fuck the Diaz brothers and drops the mic and walk off. Oh, man. Unbloody real. How can you not love Conor McGregor? BCHD Gaming ass. What is your best ever United 11? Oh, mate, that is so difficult. 
All right, let's quickly do this. Um, it's this is probably not my mate. That's I need to sit down hours looking at names and papers, working out things. But uh, this is probably going to be butchered so much. Schmeichel in goal. Gary Neville right back. Vidic, Ferdinand centre back. Ever left back. Kane and Skulls in the middle. Ah, uh, now this is where it gets difficult. Right wing, favourite player is Ronaldo. How can you not put him there? But honestly, I'm going to put David Beckham on the right and be very, very controversial. Beckham on the right, and on the left, I'm going to have Ronaldo on the left. And I'm going to controversially leave Giggsy out that team. Got to somehow fit my two favourite players in Beckham and Ronaldo. Um, up front, that's again, that's hard, man. You look at all the quality strikers we've had. Cantonas, Van Nistelrooy's, you know, Cole, York. I'm a massive fan of Louis Saha, even though he was injury prone. Even Robin Van Persie, man, he's one of the best strikers I've seen. Oh, mate. The, oh, just, oh. Cantona playing behind Wayne Rooney. <laughs> Take it that what you will. Julius Pereira, Pereira, Julius Boss for life. How about that? We'll just go with that. Sorry if I said your name wrong. Uh, what are your plans for FIFA 17? Big fan from Finland. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate all my uh, Finnish fans. But uh, in all seriousness, let's talk about FIFA for a second because this has been bugging me. Uh, all right, I know I haven't talked to you guys much about FIFA 16, and as you know, my uh, my Xbox, not my Xbox, is broken at the minute. The disc for FIFA 16 is stuffed at the minute. It's got a massive scar in it. I moved the Xbox while it was on, and now it won't work. And I'm not going to buy another FIFA 16. Stuff that FIFA 17 is going to be here soon, and I, I don't even play FIFA 16. I don't even like it. Don't even enjoy it. I haven't enjoyed FIFA for a few years now, and why should I? By FIFA 17. I was thinking about that. Gamescom was here. And I seen all the new uh, features. For Ultimate Team. Career Mode and whatnot. And I'm going to be real. FIFA 17. Uh, let's talk about Career Mode for a second. It looks shit. It looks proper neglected. They don't. EA don't even give two shits. About Career Mode. And. I know I'm going to get a lot of hate for this, but I don't care no more. I proper don't care what people think of my opinions about career mode because career mode now is just a massive turd that's been polished and it's so sparkling and it's so clean, but it's a turd at the end of the day. It hasn't been touched, hasn't been, hasn't been looked out in years. Let's be real. So many people got so excited last year. Ah. Oh, Pre-season tournaments, it's going to be fantastic, it's going to be good, you know, really, really, I said this at the time when it dropped, do you really care about pre-season tournaments, you know, you look back on a season, like last season for Man United, no matter if it's good or bad for anyone in your own club, do you ever go, you know what, we had a tough season, but that pre-season tournament, oh mate, what a pre-season tournament we had. No, it does not happen. No one cares about pre-season tournaments. You, it's not going to affect the season. I don't care. We don't care. It's not going to keep me coming back for career mode. Same as the player training. So many people got so excited for this. And I was like, what? This crap? You're excited? It's not even it's not even training. It's skill games which they already had in the game and you just play as one player doing the skill game. So it's not training. Last time I checked, a training session was with the full team. So if you had the full team and you know, let's just say you had six players and you had to take on a defense and you had to try and score, you know, five goals in twenty minutes or you know Try playing keepings off for three minutes or practice some skills or whatever the case can be. As long as you're using the whole team, that, the last time I checked, is what's called a training session. Not one player doing a skill game. So, talk it up all you want. Uh, what, what, what's, what's FIFA 17 got to offer? Managers. Managers on the touchline. That's nice. Thanks. You know, like, thanks. I appreciate it, but... No, it's not gonna. It's not gonna enhance my experience of coming back to the game. It's not gonna keep me want to keep playing it just to see the managers on the side. And I heard there's only what eleven managers to choose from. Eleven managers. Oh, what a joke that is. But what else you can you can? There's financial situations where you can, 
You can you need to you need to oversee the sales of your finance, but you can't change the prices for ticket matches and you can't set the prices for the shirt sales, but you you're in charge of financing the team. What bullshit's that? You know, who who's 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 putting that in the game? You know what I mean? So many bullshit things that EA are doing with FIFA and I don't even care. I don't even it's just proper shit. Until FIFA ever goes to online career mode where I can play me versus one other friend minimum or lo I'd like to play with heaps of friends, even you guys. Imagine there was 20 of us in the same league trying to buy the same players, you know, trying to build our squads, trying to avoid relegation, make Champions League, win titles, win the golden boot. How exciting is that? That's going to keep me wanting to play this game. Not this bullshit about pre-season tournaments and finances and all this shit. It's just... And I get why you guys are angry with me for being like this, for hating from FIFA. But do you blame me? Do you really, really blame me? Like, I just can't be bothered playing FIFA no more. That EA don't even care about career mode no more. So why should I care about career mode anymore? And until we get people making a stand, nothing's going to change. And I think... I'm not, I'm not saying this is going to happen 100%, but I'm thinking about, it. I'm definitely, definitely thinking about not buying FIFA 17. Can't be asked with Ultimate Team. It's just a shit game mode um, that costs heaps and heaps of money. It's a pay to win at the end of the day. The more you spend in the money, the better team you're going to have. It's a pay to win uh, game mode. Uh, and career mode, it's been neglected. EA don't even care about it. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll just play Pez and try and get into... The Master League, because that looks like an improvement. I don't know. I really don't know. But as for career, uh, YouTube-wise, when it comes to FIFA, I don't know, man. I want to, but like all my other series, you guys know, I just get over it. It's just shit. It's proper shit. But that's just my frustrations. I don't know. Tell me how you guys feel. I know. A bit of a rant there, but uh, rant over. <laughs> Alright, this question comes from Alex, and he asks, If you had to make a football team of 11, who would you pick past and present of any team? <sighs> Mate, I've, I've said loaded question about 13 times already in this video. That, by far, is the most loaded question. Past and present. Mate, we're talking about, you know, far, your George Best to, you know, the, the Brazilian Ronaldos to... Pele's to Maradona's, mate, that's, oh, mate, that's too hard, but I, 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 what I will say is my favourite players of all time, um, love David Beckham, Cristiano Ronaldo, you guys know, um, my favourite players that are not from United, massive fan of, uh, Ronaldinho, mate, he was unbelievable, um, Brazilian Ronaldo, uh, Zidane, uh, Thierry Henry, <sighs> what a player he was back in the day, Thierry Henry, um, who else is one of my favourite players, Maradona, he was fantastic, Jordi Cruyff, uh, who else was there, Brian Robson, now I've seen heaps of highlights of Brian Robson, uh, obviously he's United, um, non-United, I don't know man, it's a hard question, man. <laughs> Harry Turner asks, why do you take breaks? And I guess he's asking uh, YouTube-wise, why do I take breaks? And to be fair, because I'll be real, man, I do upload FIFA content and I get over FIFA, man. It's just, like I said that rant before, it's shit. I just get over it. And, man, I'm I'm 29 years of age too, man, so I've got a life as well between the misses and work and whatnot. I've only got limited times to do. Man, I love going away too. I love camping. I love hunting. I'm going away next week, so take the four-wheel drive out there. Boom, take my gun. I can't wait. Maybe I should do a little vlog about going hunting. Maybe you guys will like that. So um, that's the real reason why I take breaks. I've got a life outside uh, YouTube. <laughs> Josh asks... Ever watched an A-League game? If so, uh, which one and what are your thoughts on the league? Uh, mate, I used to go to the A-League heaps back in the day. When it first started, I was there flat out. When Archie Thompson was about 27, 28 years old, that's when I first started going to A-League. I loved it, man. Dwight York was playing for Sydney at the time. 
Man, I've been to a few grand finals victory early days, but I don't know. The A-League for me is just... I don't know, man. It's not that... Obviously, it's not that good, but it doesn't interest me, man. I just... I've lost interest big time, you know. Um, I don't hate it. You know, I follow Melbourne victory. Um, it's one of those things, yeah, like... I can't whinge about it because I don't attend the games. I can't make it any better unless I help, you know, do something. But at the same time, I'm not going to, you know, trash it and talk shit about it. But it is what it is. A-League, eh. This one's from Kellum who asks, Can we expect a 15, um, FIFA 17 career mode? Sorry, mate, we just talked about that. Yeah, you can expect a... A career mode on FIFA 17, probably not from me, but you can expect one, and uh, I can guarantee you it's pretty much going to be the exact same as FIFA 16. <laughs> Alright, next question is from Casino95, and he asks, as, a United, uh, as United haven't signed a right back in a transfer window, do you think that Valencia is good enough to hold uh, this position? Yeah, man, Valencia, obviously... Back was he? He was United's Player of the Year in 2012. Unbelievable season, playing on the right wing, right midfield. But he's got the strength and the defensive now to be a right back. And I think he's got it in him. I don't think he's going to be playing right back every single game all season long. But I do think between him and Damian as a backup could do the job. But this talks Damian's leaving. So if Damian does leave, I do expect Jose or Jose to sign um, Fabinho, that Monaco right back. He looks good too. 21 years of age and he looks like he's got a few tricks and he's an attacking threat. So Valencia could do the job. All right, next question is from Joe Kevin. What are your thoughts on the Schweinsteiger situa uh, situation? Yeah, man, it's sad. It's proper sad, you know. I'm a fan of Schweinsteiger. You know, he, you know, I know, I don't think I know he does have something to offer for Manchester United. You know, he's won a World Cup. He's won plenty of dozens of titles for Bayern Munich in the Bundesliga. He brings experience. This is a long season. We're in the Europa League this, uh, this year as well. You know, we're going to get injuries. We're bound to get massive injuries. So what if Carrick goes down and Fellaini and Herrera, you know, wouldn't it be great to bring on a player like Schweinsteiger? You know, in a big game with his experience and his nous, even in training, just to keep him there. But I do understand he's on very high wages, and if you, and Mourinho is, if you want, if you're going to be on those high wages, you need to be offering something a bit more than just experience. So I can see where both sides are coming from, but I like Schweinsteiger, and he loves Manchester United. That's what makes it so sad. But yeah, it's just a sad situation. The Mushroom asks, which place in the entire world would you like to visit and why? And how can I grow a beard like yours? Already answered the beard question. Where would I like to go visit? Um, man, I'm pretty lucky. I've been very well traveled uh, as a human being. I've been to plenty of places. Um, ah, mate, where would I like to go? I would love to go to... The Maldives, Bora Bora, some ugh, nice, the Bahamas, a nice destination like that. But one massive city that I've never been to in the world and I'm hanging to go there, it's probably New York City. Mate, what I would do to be in New York in November uh, when uh, UFC 205 is around would be unbelievable. The first UFC event ever. At Madison Square Garden, New York. Oh, mate. I would love to be ringside for that. But, uh, yeah, mate. New York. Yeah, that's pretty much it for the questions on uh, Twitter. Thanks for your questions. Appreciate that. Uh, I quite enjoyed this relaxing, kicking back, and just talking about crap. But, um, yeah, we discussed a lot. We talked about FIFA. Uh, what else did we talk about that was good issues? UFC and... Um, what I got planned for the channel coming up? What do I have planned? Fantasy career mode. I love playing that game. Thanks for you who are watching. The United reviews. That's going to be um, something I'm looking forward to. The the three two one voting system. We're going to have player of the year at the end of the year. That's going to be awesome. The way I'm doing that. That's pretty good. The watch along for the Southampton game. I'm looking forward to that Friday night. That is going to be awesome. I'm looking forward to the game in general. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for me. But until next time, lads, stay tuned for my UFC preview. Conor McGregor versus Nate Diaz. That's going to be awesome. Um, but yeah, take care.
Um, peace.